We've got a vampire guard that feed off inmates and it's a comedy. I imagine that's a script that you couldn't put down. Absolutely, you know, as a horror fan, I haven't been asked to do that many, but I've got, uh, more recently I've been asked to do a couple, so I was, you know, gagging to do it as soon as I saw it. And when you read the, the part that you play, what was it that you really wanted to do with it? Um, I don't get enough death scenes, and so to have a fun scene where I literally, I won't, I won't give anything away, but it's quite an unusual way to go. And uh, as soon as I saw that, I thought, I've definitely got to do that. Definitely. And in, in that instance, because I imagine it's, it's low budget, uh, it, well, I mean, well, I say low budget, we have a certain amount, don't we, in England to spend on films. Yeah. So with prosthetics and things like that, was it very practically made? Could you, you get really messy? Very messy. They were really lucky with the location. Uh, which meant they didn't have to build any sets or anything for a lot of the interiors. It was this, this prison, as I said, it was recently been a, a proper prison with like class A prisoners in. So they had a lot of the locations were there ready to film in, which was brilliant. So I think that saved a lot, probably saved quite a bit of budget. And in terms of blood, there were buckets and buckets. It was, it was very, very messy, believe me. Very messy. Because it's a comedy horror, do you think the comedy is a nice... Um, balance juxtaposed you know what is something that's quite horrific definitely I mean I think it's a great comedy horror is a great genre it's kind of when it's done well it's it's great because they two play off each other and I think it, it works really well and you can have a lot of fun with it